Hi, I'm Fred Feldon. Welcome to Coastline College Math 100. I look forward to being your guide through the class. I know that taking a course online isn't the easiest way to learn, but there are so many advantages, and with the right support from your instructor and participation from your fellow classmates, it can really be a rewarding and enjoyable experience. I hope it works out for you that way. And on my end, I'll do everything I can to help you succeed in the class. All right, let's get started with a little orientation, shall we? Here's your Canvas Math 100 homepage. You can see it's pretty basic. The only thing we'll be doing in Canvas really are discussions and email. Everything else is in my Math Lab, which I'll talk more about in a second. At the bottom is a list in a big red font of where you can find the various components of the class. I scrolled down so you could see them. Uh, let's take a look first at discussions, shall we? This is where you'll want to go first every time you begin working in the class. You should go to the weekly forums and read all the messages that have been asked and answered there before you either post your own question or before you begin working. Because in those forums is where I replicate all the interaction and regular and substantive discussion that normally takes place in a live classroom. You'll see a student bio link that you'll want to go to and post that. And below that, I'll have other various forms of organic discussion, including our Zoom meetings. Our Zoom meetings will be scheduled every couple weeks or so. You'll have a chance in the Zoom meetings to interact live with me and your fellow classmates. Maybe you'll find a study buddy or form a study group. If you click on the link for the various discussions, there's a hyperlink to join the meeting. And after the meeting is over, below that, I'll post a link to a recording you can watch if you missed the meeting, and a link to open all the notes of the meeting, which is everything I wrote down during the meeting. During the meeting, you'll get live help with homework and quizzes, you can ask questions that are personally meaningful to you so I can respond. It's just like being in class, except we're all in the comfort and safety of our own home, which is nice. As I write here, I don't care what you wear, what your location is, what your background is. I don't care who's in the house or the room with you, including friends, family, babies, pets, or whatever. Believe me, I've seen it all. I'll always arrive 15 minutes early to greet you. Below Discussions is a People button where you can see a list of your fellow classmates. You'll have the ability to contact someone to maybe ask a question or form a study group. And below that are links to free online tutoring sponsored and paid for by the college. And that's about all there is in Canvas. To get your textbook and to get started with the academic assignments and homework, etc., you'll want to click on the My Lab and Mastering button. Do that next. Click on the orange button to open My Lab and Mastering. Accept the end user agreement. Then click on the button to create an account. If you've used a Pearson product in the past, be sure to clear your browser history and restart your browser. You can see it's automatic. It's auto-filled my name and password in there, and uh, that won't work if in this course. Um, you need to clear your browser history and restart your browser. You do not need, nor should you be asked for a course ID. You will always enter my math lab here from Canvas. Next, you'll be taken to the Pearson registration screen. Notice it's automatically linked to our specific textbook. Bennett and Briggs and Using and Understanding Mathematics, the current edition. If you already purchased an access code, for example, from the Coastline Bookstore, type it in here. Or you can purchase an 18-week access directly from the publisher at a reduced cost. If you'd like 14 days of free access, click on that link. When you purchase permanent access, all your work will be saved. 
All right, let's take a look at the Pearson MyLab and Mastering Course Management System right now. Here's the MyMathLab homepage for a class where all your academic assignments, the schedule, the syllabus, the ebook, and your grades, etc., are all based. <clears throat> I know it might be a little confusing to be working with two course management systems, but I think you'll quickly and easily come accustomed to it. Uh, as a student, your screen won't quite show all these buttons on the navigation panel, but you'll open up here at the home page, which you'll see, you see what you see here. Below that is the syllabus. Let's click on that and take a look at it. At the top is our schedule for the semester, week by week. Make every effort to closely follow it. I do not recommend skipping around or going out of order. And also, once you get behind, it can be really difficult to catch up. But if you do get behind, notice the paragraph below called Flexibility with the Schedule. Everything is open all semester with no late penalties. I'm probably the most flexible online instructor you'll ever have, <laughs> but I do proactively monitor everyone's progress on a regular basis and if you fall behind you'll be hearing from me i'll reach out to you i'll ask you what's happening and i'll see if there's anything i can do to help you're going to you're going to want to read all the way down to the bottom of the page in fact you should be clicking on every one of these buttons on the navigation panel on the left and read every page from top to bottom after the syllabus is the link to the assignments Here's where you will access all your online homework, your quizzes, and your tests. You want to begin with the very first assignment on Unit 2A and submit that right away within the first day or two. Students who are inactive or no-shows will be dropped from the class, so don't let that happen to you. The next button below assignments is the ebook. If you click on the first link at the top of the page, this will open an interactive PDF file that exactly mirrors the physical textbook. It's a wonderful resource and it has a lot of extra features over and above whatever a physical textbook might have. Below that is the student gradebook. Your overall average is posted here and updated in real time. You should frequently check it. Oops, I'm not doing so good, am I? I've got a 14% average so far. Which, which isn't passing, but you can go back and finish and redo homework and quizzes anytime to raise your grade, no problem. So if your goal is to get a C in the class, for example, you want to make sure that overall score is 70% or better. Spend all the time you need to, and that'll be different for everybody, some more, some less. So check this frequently and keep your overall average at your target range throughout the semester. The next section is called How to Succeed in the Class. You know, I often get asked by students, Professor Feldman, how can I improve my grade in the class? Well, here's a summary of everything I say to them, all conveniently located on one page. So read this carefully from top to bottom. Below that is the video and resource library. In general, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of PowerPoint study slides and short video clips of worked out examples and general concepts as well. It's a great resource. Next, accessible resources. This includes a link for a version of the e-text that is different than the one I referred to earlier. It does not exactly mirror your physical textbook, and I don't recommend you use this link unless you're visually impaired and need a screen reader. The next link is Purchase Options. This is where you can go to get a low-cost, loose-leaf, three-ring binder, hole-punched version of our book, because I know some students really prefer to have that physical book. Below that is a button for co-requisite support. If you need a review of core skills from previous math courses, or information on growth mindset, study skills, critical thinking. That's what you can find there. And that's about it. In closing, I just want to remind you that you're not alone in the class, that we're all here to help each other, and your best resource is not just me either. It's the community of learners that we're going to form together in the class to help each other succeed. 
Research shows, in fact, that the more a student communicates with their peers, talks to their fellow classmates to the end to their instructor, asks for help, discusses with others how you solved the problem or tried to solve a problem, the higher your grade in the class will be. It really does work that way. My best advice is to speak up, ask questions, participate in the discussion, and work hard. And on my end, I'll do everything I can, as I said earlier, to help you succeed in the class. I'm sure you've heard the saying, the harder you work, the luckier you'll get. So true. So welcome to the class. Thanks for watching.